Are we in Italy? Who knows? Charming bedroom, a bar space, which is also extremely apt during these times. Hi, it's Hannah. It's also 2022, and we're back to show you lots more very exciting properties. Today, I'm on Burma Road, and I'm gonna show you a two-bed garden flat that's been done up beautifully by the current owners. Please follow me. So, in we walk into this very smart hallway. I'd like to actually just point out something I just noticed, which is this door handle. Uh, it's just rather charming, little lion's head. Um, in we come. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Great little hallway. The owners have recently done the flooring, which is a very smart, checkered, black and white tiling, um, which looks fantastic. Behind the front door here is a very large storage cupboard, which actually goes beneath the uh, front steps of the house. So really brilliant to hide lots of things away in there, keep the flat tidy. And then we walk into this hallway, lovely wooden floorboards, high ceilings, and uh, cornicing, which is actually pretty much throughout the whole flat, which adds just great detail. Now I'm gonna take you into the living room. So here we are in the main reception room. This is an open plan living and kitchen space, which is fantastic for those who like to entertain, so you can cook whilst lounging around, as you will. Um, what's brilliant about this room is there's a very large bay window at the front here, which looks out onto Burma Road. I don't know whether you're aware, but it's a very beautiful street and the architecture is very interesting along this street. So it's very nice to look out on such pretty houses. Uh, it's also west facing, so lots of light enters the room through this bay window. The layout is fantastic at the moment. You've got the kitchen over there, which we'll come on to. But behind the sofa here, they've created a uh, office space, which is obviously very apt these days. So you've got an office space here. And you've also got a bar space, which is also extremely apt during these times. And here we have another storage cupboard, which of course is extremely useful if you want to keep a nice and tidy flat. This half of the room is uh, the kitchen. The current owners actually knocked down a wall, which used to be here, opening the space up. And uh, they've done it extremely well. It's a very modern, minimalist kitchen, so it can suit lots of people's taste. Um, you've got quartz worktops, all handleless, very smart, great lines, uh, a very detailed, contemporary, tiled background here. And it's just all extremely smart. And perfect room for dining here. You could have an extendable table for long dinner parties, however you may wish to entertain. Over here, I'm also just drawn to this fantastic little violet scene, which the owners have put together. Um, which is just pretty cool. You've got some purple candles along with this purple head with purple tulips protruding out the top of it. Walking down the corridor, we actually walk into a second hallway, which is really quite big and uh, could actually act as a second office space if you needed it to, uh, which is extremely useful. And it just adds a really great feeling as you walk through the flat, as it's just quite unusual to have such a huge hallway. Uh, this leads on to the second of the two bedrooms. It's currently laid out as a nursery, uh, but could also definitely fit uh, a double bed. So either or, and it looks out onto your private garden at the back. Back into the hallway, I'm now going to show you the family bathroom. Uh, so this has literally just been put in, so it's brand new, and it's been done extremely well. You've got a marble veneer tiled wall on this side, and power shower, very good. Also a bath, very generous bath for those who like to bathe. And just lots of attention to detail really, there's this vanity unit here, very smart sink with storage underneath. Very useful. And a fantastic little sign at the back there, which we mustn't forget. In 
into the master bedroom. Charming bedroom. It overlooks the garden at the back, which we'll go into shortly. Uh, but yeah, it's got this cornicing like all the other rooms in the flat, which just adds a real element of grandeur, actually. Um, there's enough space at the back here to have a uh, dressing table area. And then all along this wall, they've put in loads of floor to ceiling, pretty much, storage for all those clothes that you may not have, may have. Um, and then this is an original cupboard here. So storage all along this wall and beautiful views onto the garden, which I'm now gonna show you. So as we come out here, you can notice it's extremely uh, leafy. There are lots of mature trees around. Uh, I can notice an olive, for starters. Um, are we in Italy? Who knows? But no, charming little area, perfect for entertaining in the summer months. Enough space for a barbecue, clearly. And just what you need, really. Um, there's also Clitthole Park, literally just down the road. So you've got the best of both worlds. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please do let us know what your thoughts are on the flat. I personally think it's a charming, extremely well presented flat on a beautiful street uh, in a fantastic location. I actually live just down the road and I can really vouch for the fact that it is the best place I've ever lived and I can't really imagine living anywhere else. Um, so yeah, please do continue watching our videos. Let us know your thoughts and I'll see you soon.